Hello my stamping friends, this is Jeanette and today I'm going to show you how to do the background and the words for this Christmas card um, using the Stamparatus from Stampin' Up! Um, this design I saw on Pinterest, um, I've changed the colors uh, slightly and I apologize, I do, I do not remember the name uh, who designed this or had, had it posted on Pinterest and I don't have my notes here anymore so I do apologize but this I did case this design and just change the colors and the words a little bit so anyway I thought it was really cool so I had to do it and it was the first time for me to use the Stamparatus that I've had for quite a while so let's get started so I did this for a class um, not too long last month and uh, so I have it preset. So this piece is like the top layer and it's cut down twice from the original. So the card base is five and a half by four and a quarter. The cherry cobbler piece is five and a quarter by four. And so this piece is five by three and three quarters. So what I did was I just kind of placed this in the middle Oh, actually, I need my magnets. Duh. Hold on. And I only used one, but... Okay. And, oh, they're stored in the back separately. You don't want them to get together because you will have a hard, hard time getting them apart. So, <clears throat> and if you notice, everything has a star on it because my friends and I were all stamping up demonstrators and uh, we like don't want to get our stuff mixed up, so... Anyway, so I lined up my paper originally here and then just used some washi tape to kind of mark because I'm going to make a lot of these and I don't want to have to do this like a million times. So this is how I set it up. So here's my trees and there's only three of them but I want a lot. And I'm going to cover up the bottom so I really don't care that I, you know, it's not going to stamp all the way to the, to the very bottom here. Let me put my magnet on, that might help me. So first I'm going to line it up right on the edge of where I want it to stamp. And I'm going to put down my acrylic piece here. And it will just pick up the stamp. Okay. So for my words, and make sure your stamps are clean before you do this, or use a piece of scrap paper. My words, I'm going to have about there. So I'm going to bring my other acrylic piece down and pick this up like that. So now I'm ready to stamp. So for the trees, I've used Smoky Slate. And let me see if I can get you frame better. Oh, I should tell you the stamp set I'm using. This is Winter Woods. So I'm using these trees here. Um, for the regular card, for the rest of the card, I am using this tree as well. And then where I die cut it out using the In the Woods Framelit dies, I'm just using these two. So, as everything's falling over, so let me open up. So you just ink up your, oh, here's one of my notes right there. Ink up your bir birch trees, and we're going to stamp down okay so looks good if you didn't like it turn your paper over do the other side so I'm gonna ink again now this is the cool part I'm gonna lift this straight up and move it down one notch see we were here now we're gonna move it down one notch and stamp again Now I'm going to ink again. Lift it up. Move down one notch. And ink again. Now if you didn't want this much space in between, you could adjust your first one. Um, that might make a difference. Or what I did, I think I turned the stamp around for this one. But you can see, I think this is the bottom of the tree, and I actually have it upside down. So, 
I don't think it really matters once you have it all together. I don't, people won't even notice that. So again, we're gonna move down and stamp. And for the last one, I'm gonna have to move my magnet because it's gonna be right in the way. And that's too why I put these washi tape guides down in case I accidentally moved it, then there would be no problem. So we moved it down. We're gonna stamp, lift up, and voila, we're done. I'm just taking this off to move it out of the way because I know me, I'll put my arm right in it. So let's close that up. And for the words, we're gonna use cherry cobbler. And I'm gonna turn you so you can see. Well, I'll do it this way so you can actually see the words. Let me move some stuff here. Okay. So the words, let me sit down because my back is killing me. Uh, Joy to Your World is from the Sincerely Santa stamp set. Um, also from Stampin' Up. So you could use any words that you have. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. I know the one I saw on uh, Pinterest had different words and they were bigger. So we're gonna ink up your stamp, which you've already pre-aligned and we're going to stamp down okay now let's say you want this darker let's just ink again sorry if it's shaking and we're going to come straight back down right over it and look at that darker you can even do it another time if you wish as long as you don't move this acrylic piece there you go and so that's how we get the background um, to our Joy to Your World card right here. All right, so thank you for joining me. I hope you learned a few things, or if not, um, got some other ideas um, that you haven't used before. And also, what I love about this Stamparatus is not only do you get the two plates and two long magnets, but now they've just started um, selling you can buy two more plates, so you'd have four plates, and they have a background like grid paper that you could use down here. And I actually have some, I just haven't opened it, so let's do that now. So small grid paper, so you can look for that um, when you place an order. Let's see if I can get this open. Sorry guys, I forgot to open this beforehand. So let me get this. Um, I can't remember how much this was, to be honest with you, so I apologize for that, but I don't think it was very much. Ah, and here we go. So let me take one off. It's just a paper pad. Okay. And we'll move this. And the only reason I'm not using this now is because uh, I have the washi tape down. But you can go like that. And that way, when you stamp, if this stamped off the edge, oh, and look, this wasn't completely dry, I just smudged it. But then you wouldn't get ink right here. See this ink splotch? I mean, it cleans off pretty easily, but you know, if you didn't want to do that all the time, you can just put this down. Or if you have a, the longer grid paper, cut some pieces and do it yourself. All right, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you like my videos or give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. All right, see you guys later. Bye.